we want to evaluate the indef integral or determine the antiderivative. We'll determine the antiderivative here using an integration formula typically found in the back of a calculus textbook in an integration table. The challenging part about using an integration table is to recognize which integration formula to use. So looking at the given integral, notice how the integrand contains sine squared. So if we look under the trick section in the integration table, we'll find an integration formula similar to the one given here. Actually, I've listed two here. Through some research, I found these are the two most common formulas used to integrate sine squared u integrated with respect to u. So we'll show the antiderivative for this example in two forms, in this form as well as this form here. The only difference here is that for the second form, the double angle identity for sine two u has been applied, giving us this last form. But notice how the integral is only for sine squared u integrated with respect to u, and we have sine squared x to the fourth as well as the six x to the third. This indicates we'll have to perform u substitution or a change of variables to make it match this integration formula. So we'll let u equal x to the fourth. So if we let u equal x to the fourth, the next step is to find differential u or du, which is equal to the derivative of x to the fourth with respect to x times dx. So that would be four x to the third dx. Looking at our integral again, notice how we're letting u equal x to the fourth, so we have sine squared u here. That leaves us with six x to the third dx, and we have du equals four x to the third dx. So let's go ahead and solve this for x to the third dx by dividing both sides by four. So this would leave us with one fourth du is equal to x to the third dx. For the next step, we'll write the integral in terms of u. So let's go ahead and factor out the six. So we have six times the integral of, we know u is equal to x to the fourth, so this is sine squared u now. So far we have this piece written in terms of u, and we factored out the six, which leaves x to the third dx, and we know x to the third dx is equal to one-fourth du. So let's factor out the one-fourth, and then we have our differential u. Notice now this matches the integration formula perfectly, and again we'll show our antiderivative in both of these forms. So it's gonna be equal to six-fourths is equal to three-halves, so we have three-halves times Using our first formula, we have one-half u minus one-fourth sine two u. And of course we have plus c. We'll also show the antiderivative in this form here. So this would be equal to, we don't want to forget about the three halves, so we have three halves times, and then we have one-half times the quantity u minus sine u times cosine u, and then plus c. And now we'll substitute x to the fourth for u. So this gives us in the first form, we'd have three halves times one half x to the fourth minus one fourth sine two u would be two x to the fourth plus c. In the second form, notice how we'd have well, three halves times one half, that'd be three fourths. We should have three fourths times u, which is x to the fourth, minus sine u, or sine x to the fourth, times cosine x to the fourth, and then of course plus c. Now we could distribute here as well as here, but I'm gonna go ahead and leave it in this form. Remember, I'm showing two forms of the antiderivative but you really only have to show one. I hope you found this helpful.